Welcome back to my channel, Omen Analysis, an analysis channel where I talk about different things in pop culture, entertainment, and politics, while also creating my own analysis of these specific occurrences. Make sure you follow my personal Twitter for my own opinions and funny tweets on the daily, as well as the Omen Analysis Twitter page for more updates on our content as well as things going on in pop culture, specifically film and entertainment. On my channel, there's been a huge spike in my views for my story of Tanache and story of Naya Rivera videos. So today, I have decided to create another story of a video for another artist that deserves a lot of coverage. Today for my Omenology series, I am doing, quote, the story of Chloe and Hallie. Disclaimer. So I know I still get it confused. I'm saying Chloe and Hallie, but I'm not exactly sure on how the X works. I think it's just to show that although they are two people, they are one group or duo. So I will be saying Chloe and Hallie when speaking about them in this video. However, I do know the term and the band name is Chloe X Hallie. So yeah, but to, specif to specifically like specify, I know that it's Chloe Halley as the group name, but they are two different people. So I'm going to be saying Chloe and Halley during the duration of this video. Chloe Bailey was born on July 1st, 1998, and Halley Bailey was born on March 27, 2000. They were mostly raised in Atlanta, Georgia as kids and eventually moved out to Los Angeles in 2012. Growing up, they were child actresses and had minor roles in the films The Fighting Temptations and the Disney Channel original movie Let It Shine. At ages 13 and 11, Chloe and Hallie launched a YouTube channel where they started uploading covers of popular songs on the internet. Their very first video was a cover of Best Thing I Never Had, a popular song by Beyonce. Keep in mind this, and as I mentioned a few minutes ago, how they had minor roles in the Fighting Temptations film with Beyonce, as I believe this provides full circle moments in their respective career. They made their official television debut on Ellen in 2012 as Chloe Hallie, which is their official group name. They also competed on the Radio Disney Music Competition show, Next Big Thing, and ultimately won. As a result, they made an appearance on the then popular children's television show, Austin and Allie, performing their song, Unstoppable. They began gaining even more prominence as a duo after official te television debuts. They uploaded different covers of popular 2013 songs, such as Applause, We Can't Stop, Roar, and Wrecking Ball. YouTube is what truly led to their success, however, it provided a full circle moment in their careers. They uploaded a cover of the song Pretty Hurts by Beyonce, which caught the attention of the great artist herself. The rest is history. This, as I've stated previously multiple times, provides the full circle moment in Chloe and Halle's career. If you remember at the beginning of the video, I said to remember that they were also in the Fighting Temptations movie with Beyonce as little girls. This is what really provides the full circle moment for them. In 2015, Beyonce signed Chloe and Halle to Parkwood Entertainment on a six album deal for $1 million. This is how they began branding with Beyonce herself. They made a cameo appearance in Beyonce's critically acclaimed visual album Lemonade and even accepted a BET award on her behalf. From working with Beyonce as little kids on the set of Fighting Sensations to being signed by the most acclaimed artist of this century, they had truly begun to make it in this industry with such a huge industry cosign. Chloe and Halle made their official professional debut with the EP Sugar Symphony, which was released under Parkwood Entertainment. Their debut single in the EP's lead single, Drop, was performed at the BET Awards that same year in 2016. The EP was also accompanied by the second and final single, Fall, which was released in September 2016. They performed their singles at multiple places, including not only the BET Awards, but also they performed at Obama's keynote speech at South by Southwest. Chloe and Halle later served as the opening acts for the Beyonce Formation World Tour on the European leg and Andre Day's Cheers to the Fall Tour in late 2016. In the spring of 2017, Chloe and Halle released their critically acclaimed mixtape, The Two of Us, which featured new music mostly written and produced by the duo. The mixtape gained a lot of recognition and was recognized by the Rolling Stone magazine's Best R&B Albums of 2017 list. They performed the national anthem to begin the 2017 NFL Draft in that same year. Chloe and Halle recorded a theme song for the television series Grownish entitled Grown in December of 2017. They also have roles as series regulars on the popular show Grownish, which is centered around the lives of college students. Their song, The Kids Are Alright, was featured in the series debut. 
Grown and the Kids Are All Right served as the lead and second singles of Chloe and Halle's debut studio album, The Kids Are All Right, which they announced in late February 2018. Their single Warrior appeared on both the soundtrack for the film A Wrinkle in Time as well as their debut album. Chloe and Halle in 2018 had the chance to perform America the Beautiful at WrestleMania 34 in early April 2018. Chloe and Halle released their debut solo album, The Kids All Right, on March 23, 2018 to massive critical acclaim. Chloe and Halle announced that they would be the opening act for the US leg of Beyonce and Jay-Z's On The Run 2 tour alongside DJ Khaled. They were also nominated for two Grammys, one for Best New Artist and the other for Best Urban Contemporary Album for their work that they completed and successfully released, The Kids Are All Right. In addition to being Grammy nominees, they also performed Where Is The Love at the Grammys and presented Best Rap Album to female rapper Cardi B. In July 2019, Disney announced that Halle Bailey had been cast as Princess Ariel in the upcoming live-action remake of The Little Mermaid, which was set to be directed by Rob Marshall. She is also expected to record and perform the soundtrack for The Little Mermaid. Halle's casting as The Little Mermaid sparked a lot of controversy online, as a bunch of racists on the internet claimed that because Halle was a young black woman who had been cast as Ariel, it wouldn't be interesting or true to the original character. Disney wrote an open letter defending Ariel and their choice of Halle Bailey for the character and denouncing the racism that Halle had received and experienced online. They then also appeared that same year on Nick Cannon's comedy show While and Out in July 2019. Now we are here to the present. In April 17, 2020, Chloe and Halle and Sway Lee released Catch Up, a collaboration with Michael Made It alongside a lyric video. On May 14, 2020, the duo released Do It and announced their album Ungodly Hour. The next day, Forgive Me was announced as the second single, released along with a video. They released Ungodly Hour on June 12, 2020 to massive critical acclaim. The album debuted at number 16 on the Billboard 200 Albums chart, which is the highest one of their albums that they have ever had. Do It also became the group's very first Hot 100 chart entry. They performed the song at the 31st GLAAD Media Awards as well as the 2020 BET Awards, which was where they performed Forgive Me for the first time. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic, Chloe and Halle also performed Do It on the Dear Class of 2020 virtual commencement event in early June 2020. The duo also performed the song on the Today Show and Jimmy Kimmel Live. Chloe and Halle then performed the American National Anthem at the kickoff game for the 2020 NFL season in September 2020. Chloe and Halle are now going viral constantly. With every single performance they have had during this unfortunate COVID-19 era in the world, but how could they not? With every single performance, they change up the costuming, the background and the set of their performances. Chloe and Halle have really proved that you don't need to have unnecessary gimmicks and be surrounded by controversy in order to truly make it in the music industry. If you are good, then your work alone will speak for itself. Chloe and Halle have one of the most critically acclaimed albums of the year, and they have been giving this era their all in the midst of the massive pandemic. So in conclusion, the lesson to be learned here is that if you really want to achieve something in life, be like Chloe and Halle and put your best work out there in the world. Never give up and always push yourself to be the best person possible. And if you're like me and are an aspiring creator, keep pushing for the best and maximum result and you will definitely be successful one day. Thank you for watching another Omenology episode. Make sure you check out our other videos in the series as well as subscribing to us on here so you don't miss a beat. Lastly, follow the official Omen Analysis Twitter page for constant updates on pop culture and what we have coming for this channel and online. You can also visit us at omenanalysis.com for more information, creative edits, and web analysis on popular things going on in the world. Thank you and have a great day.